Hey everybody, I'm back again to talk about our running hotspot number one, which is the right piriformance. And a lot of people in the medical community refer to the hot right piriformis as when people have pain right in their right lower buttock. If you ask us some here in the clinic, there's some other muscles that are probably involved in creating this hot spot. But let's just talk about some of the biomechanics that may be causing a hot spot in your right lower bottom. You have a lot of deep rotators of your hip and your pelvis that when your pelvis is stuck coming forward and your right is coming back, which is part of favoring your right leg, I'm going to flip this pelvis around with the right pelvis coming back and the left coming forward. Your piriformis and some of these deep rotators attach across like this from this bone called your sacrum. They come over and either attach to your pelvis or they come all the way over and attach to your thigh bone or your femur. So in this position, if you look at this space here, if you're stuck with, with favoring your right leg, hopefully you can see in the video how this space lengthens as these muscles are working in a long position. And then also, if you couple it with your thigh bone that likes to rotate in in this position, these muscles are really working on stretch. And that can create a lot of pain and discomfort because they never get a break. This is a great position to be in when you're on your right leg. However, if you have your weight on your left leg and you're still stuck here, these muscles are really overworking to help hold you up when you're running. And on top of that, your sciatic nerve crosses down through this point, And that sciatic nerve can get a little bit of compression. Nerves like to have space. They like to have lubrication and blood flow. And this position might pinch that nerve to kind of create more of a sharp pain on your right leg. So something that you might see with this piriformis, if you see videos of you running or pictures of you running, you might be whipping your right leg. So as your right leg is swinging through the air, these right lower buttock muscles are still working hard to help hold you up. So in our clinic, what we would do if you have this hot spot is we're going to help you to bring your right hip forward, your left back. So I'm gonna flip this around. If I bring my right pelvis forward and my left back, hopefully you can see now that this space here gets smaller versus being here lengthened to help take stress off of that piriformis. You need to have some muscles on your left side to help stabilize you on your left leg to keep you off your right leg with your right inner thigh and your left outside hip and your left ab. So when you go to run, your pelvis that likes to be oriented to the right can come over here and get on the left so you can stabilize yourself with muscles on your left side to help the right ones not to work so hard. Your piriformis is like a clenched fist as you're walking around with trying to help hold you up because some muscles on the left side are not doing their fair share. I hope this gives you a little bit of an insight from the biomechanics between right piriformis. You can foam roll it, you can massage it, but you have to also retrain muscles how to work differently. Otherwise, if you're going to stay in that same old pattern, kind of like a golf swing, you got to you got to retrain how to move differently with different muscles to turn the muscles off. Have a great day. I hope that helps out.